agricultural sector covering fishing, forestry, cocoa, crop and livestock production provides 36% of GDP generating a value of 6 billion US dollars. Two thirds of agricultural production comes from food crops and livestock. Fishing, forestry or logging and cocoa production accounts for the remaining one third. The contribution of cocoa varies between 9 and 12 percent of agricultural GDP. It is the biggest sector in terms of job creation, about 56 percent of employment in farming and herding. The northern region is the largest of Ghana's 10 administrative regions. It has a total land area of 7 million hectares translating into about 30% of the entire land area of Ghana. Only 10% of the land area in the northern region is currently cultivated. About 350,000 smallholders cultivate the 700,000 hectares of crop area. The rest of the agricultural land is partly used for dry season grazing and fallow practices. Although about 93% of the smallholders cultivate maize, its production accounts for only 13% of the cultivated area. The northern region was a major rice belt in the past. At present, only 24% of smallholders cultivate rice on about 8% of the total crop area. Rice production is predominantly rain-fed for local consumption. In the 1970s, the Operation Feed Yourself program was a real shot in the arm for agriculture. It boosted rice production in northern Ghana through the focusing of agricultural policy on rice production, milling and marketing. This policy underpinned the development and growth of the rice industry. Other factors included research activities leading to the identification of suitable rice varieties rapid development of infrastructure support such as machinery and equipment, rice milling enterprises, institutional arrangement for seed multiplication and adequate and regular supply of good quality seeds. These efforts led the country to declare 99.2% self-sufficiency in rice production in 1976. At this time, a farmer in the northern region would engage roughly 100 farm hands on his 2,000 acre rice farm and produce between 13 and 14,000 bags of paddy rice every year. The number of bags of paddy rice that farmer produced was more than what all the rice farmers in the three regions of the north now produce together. Something definitely went wrong. With the influx of rice from other countries, especially from America and Thailand and other places with perfume rice, this global industry got collapsed. Now, input supply became very difficult because of the exchange rate also, you know, uh, going down. It looks to me that the fertilizers and other inputs got you know, sold up, and therefore the entire industry you know, 